It's hard to believe it's been almost four years since we first heard the phrase Oculus Rift. Yet in the intervening months, the team at Oculus has done a lot, and I mean a lot, of difficult thinking about the way this thing should look and the way this thing should feel. So let's take a trip down memory lane. This one, which is my favorite because it's such a monstrosity, isn't even so much a design prototype as it is a proof of concept. The team at Oculus wanted to know exactly what it would take to shoehorn in all the things they wanted in the consumer build into what was then the form factor of one of their early developer kits. So here is when they also started to think about different ways that they could actually fix this thing once it was on your head. What they started to play with here was if you had this thing on the back of your head, you had an elastic strap, what if you had like a, almost a bike helmet style tightening mechanism back here. It definitely secured it, but again, a lot of moving parts wasn't necessarily friendly. This is called the Crescent Bay prototype, and it was the, the last thing that developers got to use to build their games on before the retail unit came out. You can see that they figured out what to do more or less with the audio. It was kind of an articulated headphone piece that could swivel to fit the ears of whoever was wearing it, close down on them, or swing back up. Now, this one has seen better days, but what you're really finally getting is a sense of those last design touches that became available in the retail build. They started playing with putting a fabric overlay around the eye box. That's just one of those approachability things. So by this one, the team at Oculus was trying to figure out how to account for the fact that everyone's eyes are slightly different widths apart. It's called interpupillary distance, and Oculus wanted to make sure that the rift would accommodate people who were within the 5th and 95th percentile. Which brings us to now. More than three and a half years after that very first ski goggle strap prototype showed up at the E3 game show, it's the very real, in the flesh Oculus Rift. Of course, you can see the answer to all the questions that the design team grappled with over time. There's the kind of curved feel to the outside. There's the fabric that wraps the eye box to make it a little more approachable. There's that integrated audio solution that swivels back and forth to account for different people's ears. And all goes to your computer through this one slim tether. Now eventually we want this to fall away. We want to walk into the metaverse unimpeded. But until then, I'll see you in virtual reality.